This week, we're focusing on raising your vibration and living your destiny. So go ahead and close your eyes and start to find your space. Be aware of the energy around you. How far does this energy move out of your space? Where did your energy get pulled out this week? Notice if you're starting to feel fragmented or scattered. Your attention drives your energy out like a wave. This can make you feel separate, divided, or disconnected. Do you move your attention to the external to try and fix what's going wrong around you? When too much of your energy moves outward, you forget who you are. You lose your purpose. You lose sight of your destiny. Now sit in the diamond of your heart. The heart is like a magnet. Let it pull back your energy. Let it call back your attention. Imagine your energy coming back to you like a wave. Move your attention to the center of your heart. This is the place from which you know yourself. This is where you find your purpose. You may not be able to see the energy and the information around you in your field, but the way you perceive energy is through color and sound. So start to breathe in the energy of blue and start to fill your space with this blue diamond light. Start to exhale the energy of red to release any of your family agreements that you'd like to let go of. Continue to breathe in the energy of blue of divine will so you know your truth, you know your purpose, and continue to exhale the energy of red and the frequency of of your family agreements that you're not in agreement to. Start to notice your thoughts and feelings. Your thoughts and feelings create a vibration of sound. These sound waves are carried into structures that create energetic patterns. And these energetic patterns start to create matter. And these become your intention. So when you're aware of your thoughts, you're creating an energetic pattern of what you want to manifest. So be aware of when you have a negative thought. Do you start to feel stressed? Does this stress affect your heart and the way it beats? Notice when your heart's constricted, What kind of intention do you create when you're stressed? All illness is due to stress. So now I would like you to just be aware of your grounding cord. From the base of your spine, attach a cord right into the center of the planet and start to move the energy downward. Start to ground out the energy of the first chakra The first chakra is located at the base of the spine. It is where you house your family agreements. When you came into the body, you came in at a certain vibration that resonated with your family's genetic line. Start to ground out the energy that you're not in agreement to with this genetic line of your ancestors that are stuck in your energy field around you. Start to ground out their energy to release it, to help them let go of where they're stuck on these low vibrations. Start to breathe in the energy of blue into that first chakra. And start to exhale and ground out the energy of red so you can release. 
like a wave, just breathe in the energy of blue into that first chakra and start to exhale and release the energy of red. Now be aware of the top of your crown. Create a connection cord from the top of your crown up to the diamond in the sky, the source. Your crown is where you house your spiritual energy and agreements. You came into the body with a certain vibration that resonates with the unified field and your higher self. These spaces contain the vibration of your truth. These spaces contain the vibration of your destiny. But when this energy drops into the body, we usually tend to forget that vibration and energy and information. So raise your vibration up to the crown and move it up even higher to the higher self. And you can see this just as a diamond above your head. Ask the question in the frequency of your higher self, who am I? Why am I here? Start to breathe in the energy of blue. Start to exhale the energy of red out of the body. Start to inhale the vibration of blue as you raise the energy of the body to come up to the crown and then to the higher self. Focus your attention and your energy at your higher self, your higher truth. Start to illuminate any darkness in your space and move it up into the light. Now sit in the throne of your heart and imagine a figure eight loop that connects the planet, your heart, and the unified field. Allow the heart to move the energy up from the planet up through this figure eight loop. Let this wave of energy move up through you. Allow it to move through your feet, through your legs, Let it start to move into the base of the spine. And as it starts to enter that central channel up through your chakras, let this wave pattern, the figure eight, move in between your first chakra and your second chakra. Let it move in between that second and third, which is that lower belly and that solar plexus. Allow the wave to move into the fourth, your heart. And let the heart propel this energy upward as it ascends to the fifth and moves to the sixth in the center of the head. And allow these figure eight patterns to move up above the crown in between the higher self all the way up to the unified field. Let all of the energy in your space start to ascend. Have your attention focused on moving to the field. Say hello to the frequency of the field. From the field, ask, who am I? Start to resonate at that vibration. Let all the particles in that space, start to form into an energy pattern. Ask from this space, what is my purpose? Have your attention focused upward and let your body match all of the energy up to the field. Let your body become a tuning fork and start to resonate at the vibration of the unified field. Start to be in this frequency of the white diamond light. Be at the vibration of unconditional love. 
Now just say it aloud, unconditional love. This creates a sound, and that creates an energetic pattern where matter is formed around. Let everything in your life start to resonate around this pattern. Let everything in your life start to reflect this figure eight where you move your energy upward, where you raise your vibration. See the figure eight out in front of you. Start to match the frequency of the figure eight of your energy moving upward. Continue to hook your ancestors and your family agreements that you'd like to change where they're in pain and move them upward to the light. Let them move into the energy of unconditional love so they can be set free. From the unified field, start to move your attention downward. Let the heart start to pull the energy of the white light and move it above your crown. Let it fill your crown like a wave. Let this wave energy start to move down into the center of the head and move through figure eight patterns in between the chakras. See this white light coming into your throat, down into your heart, into your third chakra, into the second chakra. Fill your space, fill up like a swimming pool, a pool of white light. Allow this energy to move into the first chakra and just put a diamond there, the diamond in the sky in the first, so you can remember your agreements from the field, from your higher self, so that your body can start to resonate and match at that frequency. Let the body respond to the white light in your space and just see a figure eight out in front of you with diamond light just moving in the figure eight. To set your intention, just sit in the throne of your heart. From your heart, create a connection to the diamond out in front of you. See the field of energy that's around the diamond. Say your attention aloud and let this frequency of your voice start to create an energetic pattern that will bring your intention into matter. What color is your intention? Let the sound wave of the color move into that diamond space. Start to respond to the energy of that color. To create your intention, you must first create the energetic pattern. Then it materializes into the external world. Your thoughts, your emotions... Your feelings and your voice create sound. This sound carries, is carried through color. This sound is what creates the energetic pattern. Think about your intention and allow your thoughts to send out this sound frequency to the intention and allow it to start to organize in patterns of your intention. Say your intention aloud again and let the sound of your voice start to affect your intention and organize the particles so it can be created into matter.
Listen to the sound of your heart. Let your intention match your heart. Listen to your heartbeat at the vibration of unconditional love. Let the sound energy of unconditional love move to the intention. Let your intention match this frequency of unconditional love. It is the highest form of creation. Now with your thoughts, emotions, heartbeat, and your voice, focus on your intention. And let all of these sound waves move into the intention space and start to organize it. Organize it into a pattern. Let it start to resonate at that vibration of your higher self. Let it start to attune to that frequency. Respond to that intention and you match the vibration of your higher self. From the diamond in your heart, say hello to the back space. Create a connection cord into that diamond and see that field of energy around it. From your rear view mirror, Look at the backspace pictures and notice what automatic responses that have been coming up from you from your genetic line. Look at a backspace picture. Notice what type of field of energy is around it. Is it disappointment, fear, or doubt? What color is your backspace picture? What are your thoughts and feelings and emotions? What do you say about the negative pictures that come up in your life? How do you talk about them? Be in your heart and notice if it's open or closed when you're looking at a backspace picture or talking about it? Does your heart beat fast? Is it hard to breathe? Do you feel restricted? Notice what backspace pictures you respond to. Notice what you are being when you respond. Do you respond to an external backspace picture of doubt? Does it just reinforce your negative thoughts? Do you create your intention from the external response that you have to a negative picture? When the external backspace picture shows up, have no response. This way, energy doesn't continue to organize in a distorted backspace picture that you only continue to recreate. Look at the backspace picture instead. Notice the frequency and energy of that space. And if you tend to resonate with it, Destroy the picture by putting a bomb into it. Break the energetic pattern so you don't continue to respond and create by it. In the backspace picture, just put a picture of your intention. Put a picture of what you would like to create. Now sit in the diamond of your heart and imagine the energy starting to expand from your heart out of your space like the Big Bang. 
when the universe expanded out in the beginning of time, it created this feeling that we're separate and divided, that we're apart. Energy continually moves out, and it makes you believe you're not connected. Your energy is a reflection of the universe. Your energy tends to always want to move out of your space. Imagine the infinity loop out in front of you. The infinity loop is a tool to call back your energy and move it to the internal world as opposed to the external world. Imagine this wave of energy coming back to you into the heart. See this energy coming back from the opposing sides of duality, the intention space and the back space on the horizontal plane. To make this spiritual jump, your attention and energy must move inward. If your energy has been out of your space, that is why your intention never comes back, because your energy is always moving out to the external. The infinity loop brings your energy inward. It brings your life back into balance. The symbol of the infinity loop is an energetic pattern, and that pattern allows your energy to naturally move out and to move inward. All intentions are created within the diamond of the heart, And what we observe around us in the external world is only a reflection of our internal energy. So it's a feedback loop. So create your intention within the diamond of your heart and let it move out in the infinity loop to the diamond of the intention and backspace. And then allow the energy to come back And this will tell you what energy you created it from. Let your heart resonate at the energy of your higher self. And let the energy of your higher self start to expand out like the Big Bang. Let it move into the loop and allow the loop to bring it back into the heart to start to reflect the energy from the external world into the internal world of your intention, of your higher self. Just see this symbol of the infinity loop out in front of you. When your energy starts to scatter all over the place, that will pull your energy back. Now let's set your space for the week. For the verbal activation, I'd like you to focus on the sound of your heartbeat and say the word, I am divine, unconditional love. Start to breathe in the energy of blue and exhale the vibration of red. As you repeat, I am divine, unconditional love. Let all of your energy start to organize around this vibration. Start to focus on the sound of your heartbeat. Now say, I am heart-centered and filled with joy. Start to inhale the energy of blue and exhale the energy of red. Focus on your heartbeat and the sound of your heart. Start to match the frequency and the vibration of being heart-centered and full of joy. Now say, I live my life's purpose 
and my highest truth. Inhale the energy of blue and exhale the energy of red. Focus on the heartbeat and the sound of the heart at its life's purpose and its highest truth. Now see the integrated loop out in front of you to activate the body. Just start to observe the full loop. Observe how the vibration raises and lowers. Observe how the energy moves vertically in the figure eight loop and how it moves in the horizontal loop through the infinity loop. Match the frequency of the full loop. In this week, when you get hit with an automatic response from your ancestors, start to raise their vibration up to the field into the light. You start to move your energy to the higher self so the higher self can guide the body. Bring the white light, the diamond, into your first chakra so you can change your family agreements and you can be aligned with the unified field and your higher self in the body. Imagine a diamond in your heart, at the base of your spine, and your crown, and start to run a figure eight loop. And imagine you're a tuning fork tuning into your higher self. Allow every particle in your body to match this frequency. That everything in the external world organize around this so that you can manifest your life's purpose in a body. Thank you for joining and have a great week.